Hi guys, it's Katie. Thanks for stopping by my channel. And today I have my bucket. This is like a big ice cream pail, but we'll call it a bucket. It's my bucket of makeup, beauty, maybe skincare, empties, and also just products that I've decided to declutter, but didn't like declutter enough to have like its own dedicated video, but just products that I've gotten out of my collection that um, my mom didn't want or friends didn't want and I just, cause they were just not good products. I didn't like them. So I'm going to share with you what's in here. Okay, so first this is a sneak peek of my Project Pan update, but I had this little mini Benefit High Beam highlighting liquid highlighter. Yeah. And I finally finished it to the point where I just cannot get any more product out of it. Even though there looks like there's product left, like I have tried like banging it and like doing anything I could to get product out and I can't, so I'm just calling it a goner. Um, next I have, okay, so this is a hair growth serum by the brand La Foley. Um, so, truth bomb, I, um, had cancer last year and went through chemotherapy, so I lost all of my hair. And, you know, for a girl, that's like kind of a traumatic thing because our hair is so much a part of our identity and our self-confidence so a very special friend of mine who works at a salon um, got me this hair growth serum and it comes in a little dropper you just put a little bit on your roots every night and it's supposed to um, increase hair growth and it is um, FDA approved which was very important to me um, but it actually works and I was afraid to put this on because it kind of felt like an oil and I was like I don't want to make my hair greasy but I would put it on before I went to bed and in the morning my hair would be fine and dry and good but I've had so many people commenting on how fast my hair has been growing back and I totally believe that this serum works um I I think it just yeah makes my hair grow like exponentially fast and I'm kind of sad that I'm out of it but yeah it totally it got my hair to a place where I'm now comfortable like wearing this hair out and feeling a little bit more confident so yeah um the next product is an empty Neutrogena makeup remover cleansing palettes. I use this along with the Clinique cleansing balm. I'll go in with the balm first and then I will use this to kind of uh, wipe off whatever remaining makeup or whatever is left on my skin. And you know, I think they're good. They're just, they're really, I've tried other brands. I do love the e.l.f. cleansing cloths, cloths that are a little bit cheaper, but I like these as well and you can get them in a big like multi-pack at Costco so yeah. Next I have another type of cleansing cloth. These are Burt's Bees Exfoliating Facial Cleansing Towelettes. Okay, these ones, the exfoliating ones are my favorite because they have willow bark in them which is the natural alternative to salicylic acid which helps with the treatment and prevention of acne. So I use these every night um, as kind of my uh, face cleanser after I've washed all my makeup off. Um, I just think they do a really good job at, they have like little bumps in the towels that kind of do the exfoliating for you and they also remove any makeup that you may have left over. I've never used them strictly as a makeup remover, but they have removed like leftover mascara or anything that I've had after cleansing my makeup and I, I get these on Amazon. I get like a three pack for $18 or something. Um, and I just think they're really good. I've been using them all summer long instead of like a salicylic acid um, like cleansing uh, like instead of a salicylic acid like cleansing treatment I've been using these. So 
I think that's all the tell let things I have. Um, another thing I pretty much finished up but also it's just a hint to warm for me is the True Match Lumi foundation. Um, I think mine was in the color W3 Nude Be Beige um, and I'm more of a cool toned person. I have kind of pink undertones in my skin and this one was just even when I'm tan in the summer it just was a hit hint to orange and warm for me but I did use a lot of it up um, and I would definitely repurchase this. Uh, next I have the Garnier Skin Renew Miracle Skin Perfector BB Cream. Now the newer kind is in a different packaging. It looks like this. But this was like the old version that I pretty much used up. I think there's like maybe like this much left. But the shade was kind of changing a little bit and I compared the shade to the newer version and this just got a little bit like orange after having it for so long. Yeah. That was a visit from my mother. But yes, so I have repurchased the newer version of this in the shade light medium and I really like it. Uh, next. Okay, so these are two kind of uh, mini sizes from Sephora of the Ua Henriksen um, Sheer Transformation Perfecting Moisturizer. So this is a day moisturizer and the Invigorating Night Transformation Gel. I love a gel moisturizer. Those are my favorites. And but I did not notice these doing like anything special that a drugstore moisturizer can't do as well. So I will not be purchasing the the full version of them. They just didn't do anything special. They did also come with the Ula Henriksen Truth Serum, which I do love. Um, and I have purchased the bigger version of it, but I'm almost done with the sample size of it. Next are two products. Well, three products I'm just getting rid of because they did not work out for me. This is the Master Blur Stick by Maybelline and it is in the shade um, 130 Medium Tan. And I thought this would be really cool as a contour stick because it is really smooth and creamy and blends out well. But again, it's just a little too orange and warm for me. So it just didn't look that good even on tan skin. So as I get lighter as the summer ends and we get into fall and winter, it's just not going to work. So good thing it was Maybelline wasn't a ton of money. So I'm just getting it out of my collection because I know I won't reach for it. The next is the Sony Kashuk Concealer Palette in Hidden Agenda. And these are really good concealers. Um, I've hit pan on this shade right here, but I have had this for years and I think it's just a little bit just old and probably has bacteria in it from like dipping brushes or my fingers in it time and time again and I have other concealers that I use but it is really good for concealing blemishes or redness or scarring or things like that I just it's old and I don't reach for it anymore the next thing is this covergirl cheekers blush in the shade classic pink and I got this because I could not find my favorite covergirl blush in Plumberry Glow. But I went on Amazon and I found the Plumberry Glow and I compared the two colors and I just like the Plumberry Glow better. I will always reach for that one over this one. It's not a bad shade, I just know I won't reach for this one so I'm getting it out of my collection. Um, I used up a CoverGirl Clump Crusher. This is the extensions version. Um, I like any version of the Clump, clump Crusher. I've repurchased and repurchased and repurchased this. It's so good at just separating your lashes. And no matter how many times you do it or how many coats you put on, it will not clump. I do use another mascara over it though to give me like the volume and the thickness that I want. But this is really good at spreading your lashes out. Next, I have a lip gloss. This is the Soft Lips in the shade, or 
taste, scent, whatever, vanilla. Um, I've had this, I'm not even going to say how many years, just a really long time. And I have like barely anything left. And I have other lip moisturizers that I like. So I'm just calling it quits on this one. I had this in my purse and I just, I'm taking it out of my purse. I don't want it anymore. Next is a concealer palette. Um, I got this off of Amazon and I don't remember the brand and it doesn't say anywhere on it. But it is a really nice like shade range of concealers. And I thought this was really great like, you know, no matter what uh, shade your skin was, tan, pale, in between, that this would have a concealer to match it all. And they are... I mean, they're okay. It also has a green, a purple one. The concealers are okay. They're just kind of thin. And I wanted this to like cover blemishes and things like that. And they just did not give me the coverage that I wanted. So I did not find myself reaching for this. And so, yeah. It's just going bye-bye. Next are I think all products that I'm decluttering because I won't use them. I was disappointed in them and or I just have better options now. The first is this uh, Wet n Wild Hello Halo and this is like a liquid illuminizer. I wanted to love this. I tried it so many times. I just, it just, it kind of leaves like glitter pigments on your cheeks after a short while and it's kind of just too stroby, not enough like natural looking and I have the shade, I should have told you this before, 303A Halo Graphic. Um, I guess that should have told me it was going to be a little bit stroby but I just it leaves like glitter pigments on your cheeks and I don't like that. So the rest are all lip products. Um, first I have a NYX uh, soft matte lip cream in the shade Monte Carlo. So it's a nice red but it's kind of a little bit patchy and I have other reds that I tend to go for. So I am decluttering that. Um, I have a ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in the shade More Better, and this one was just, I have other ColourPop, ColourPop Matte Lip products that I like, but this one was just too matte, too patchy, you had to be so precise with it, and like incredibly hard to get off, and so I just, I don't want it. Next is a lip gloss by Revlon. It's in the shade Fire. It's kind of like an orangey red, and I'm more into the cool tone red, so don't need it. Uh, this is by Maybelline, the Superstay Matte Ink. I have this in another shade. I don't know where it is right now, but a lighter, pinker, taupey, mauvey shade, and I love it. But this shade in particular is the shade Believer. Just went on the lips so patchy I just and the more you put it on the more patchy it got and it just it was not good so I'm not gonna use it but other shades are good next is this this was from the Maybelline Vivids lip collection a few summers ago and this is the shade pink pop pink pop it's a very, very cool blue toned pink. Um, the thing with it is just, it can tend to pull out any yellowness you might have in your teeth. And we all know like we don't want that. So it's just gonna be a goner. This is the Milani lipstick in the shade Sangria. I used to like it, but I guess as I've had it in my collection, it maybe has gotten old and it just is way, way too drying. It is matte, but it's so drying that like, it like tugs on your lips as you try to put it on. And so I have the, a dupe for this is the Wet n Wild um, Ferguson Crest Cabernet. It was the collection with Fergie. Um, 
but that one's a lot creamier than this and it's wet and wild so it was like a couple bucks and the last two products this was a sample size i got it's the stila stale day liquid lip in the shade caramello it's just too pale for my skin tone it just i don't have very pigmented pigmented lips it's pouring outside i don't have very pigmented lips so when i put a lip color on i want it to bring out pinkness in my lips and this just dulls it and makes it like blend in with my skin and i'm just not a fan of that and then the last product is this nyx retractable lip liner in the shade hold on plum it's fine i have other nyx lip liners i just i don't use like bold colored lip liners very often I don't use lip lighters in general very often or like ever. So I'm just getting rid of it because I just don't take that extra step on my lips. I I would rather be extra careful with the lipstick or gloss or whatever and get it around the edges of my lips than go in with the liner and then the lip color and yeah. So those are my empties, my trash, things I'm getting rid of. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and you come back for more. Thanks for stopping by my channel guys. See ya!